Well, we've had some nice mild weather across much of the area this week, but don't get used to it because big changes are coming as we head toward the Easter weekend. If you're doing a small Easter egg hunt, you're probably looking for the snow across much of the area. We have issued some winter uh, storm watches across portions of the area. Basically, Buffalo down toward Casper. We got chopped out, but Casper's there, obviously. And heading up toward the Lander area as well. Now, much of this rest of this area may be filled in with winter weather advisories as we head toward this afternoon and into tonight as well. So stay tuned for that. And you want details on timing, please go to our website. There's a lot of different start times for this. So as we take a look at our confidence index, moderate to heavy snow, pretty high chance of that as we go through uh, later Saturday into Sunday as well. Blowing snow, medium chance of that. Will be a wetter snow, the best chance of that blowing snow, especially across Johnson as well as Matrona counties. Flash freeze, temperatures have been very warm lately, and there will be a huge drop in temperatures as we go into Sunday as well. More on that in a minute. So could be some flash freezes on the roads on Saturday night. The snowfall amounts, still a medium chance of that once you're this far out. There could be some banding that, you know, gives people a little bit more in some areas, just a few miles away. We'll keep tabs on that, though. But pretty high confidence that the heaviest snow and the maximum impact for falling snow, at least, looks like it'll be on Saturday night across much of the area. Sunday, we should see gradually improving conditions as the snow tapers off from north to south. So we take a look at the timing. This is the onset of the snow. Starting in the north during the morning hours and pressing north to south across the area. Just about all areas changing over to snow, say by about 10 or 11 o'clock. So those change over will actually be west of the divide and the least impacts there. East of the divide looks like the maximum impacts with the storm. I'll let you look at this for just a minute. And another thing, this is going to be a big thing with this. You see uh, temperatures, it's been changed between highs today and highs as we head toward on uh, Monday. So you can tell with these temperatures dropping 40, maybe as much as 50 degrees, it'll be a slap to the face and you'll start to fall. I think I'll start checking my balance. I gotta go to a doctor about that. But anyway, yeah, looks like temperatures crashing as we head through the thing the day. You gotten used to these warm temperatures. Probably have to break the winter coats out for a few days. These cold temperatures will probably last to early next week as well. So the big question, how much snow are we gonna get? These are our thoughts right now. You can see that usual crescent where the highest amounts are. Buffalo down toward Casper and over toward Lander. You get that easterly to northeasterly flow. These are the areas where enough slopes. Bighorn Basin, any, about three to six around Cody, four to six around Thermopolis, about three to four around Borland. Grave will probably see the least out of this. Those of you west of the divide, just a couple inches in the valleys here. It could be locally maybe up to eight or nine inches across the higher elevations of the Tetons. So you head further south, not quite as much in the south, about one to two, maybe three inches along the I-80 corridor. And then uh, about two to three inches around the Bighorn Basin. Here's our resources for your weather information. Again, road conditions. Go to these guys. Don't call us for road conditions. On the web, wireroad.info. If you want to call on the phone, do it old school, 511. If you're in the state, out of state, 188 Wild Road. And there's our webcam address there. I'm not going to read that whole thing out because I'll probably bangle it. And for weather information, you can always go to our website, weather.gov slash RAW. Be safe, everybody. Have a great weekend.